really didn't know how I was going to pay my way through college. As Fred says, not having had any better offer that day, he said, okay, let's open a submarine sandwich store. I found a little store about the crappiest location in the world. I was hoping they would give up. On that first day, we said, we're rich, but we weren't. We didn't have any franchise experience and just began inventing the franchise as best we could. I don't think that Fred could have done it without his family. We were just basically staying afloat. When Fred announced a goal of 5,000 stores by 1994, we thought he was crazy. This guy's crazy. He said, oh God, here we go. I first started making sub sandwiches in early high school years. I started with Subway when I was 21. Bought my first franchise. I actually wasn't even finished with college yet. Subway made me a manager at 19 years old. I have three stores. Got my first store back in December, my second in February, and then my third in June. We were always in Subway because we knew that was our living and our family had to make it. Wide diversity of cultures and religions and languages. Singaporeans are very into their food, and I knew that they would be accepting of a good product. Countries to deal with are well developed and wealthy to the extremely poor. Sandwiches with shrimps, salmon. Paneer tikka is fantastic. We have a sandwich called chicken tikka. Famous product in Australia, which is called the Aussie chicken tikka. Fields have to be planted, grow out times for animals, which sounds kind of crazy. It sort of shocks me when I think about the sheer volume. We buy 70 million pounds of chicken a year, 60 million pounds of turkey, 30 million pounds of pepperoni and salami. New business development entails going into unique locations from A to Z, from airports to zoos. You look at other giant multinationals and you think it's always the same, and no, we're not. We are the world's largest mom and pop. The biggest challenge is to get something that's healthy, affordable, and really, really tasty. I think people said, wow, if that Jared guy can do it, you know, I can do it too. I look for how we can help the environment and take out some of the waste in the system. The scale is really amazing. One small thing that you do does a lot. When I talk with a franchisee who's opened an eco restaurant, they are so proud. They want to share, and that's contagious. I saw a chart that Fred made, and it showed 2030, 100,000 stores. I'm looking forward to that.